My answers have not changed. I've always told the truth, and I have answered every question as I understood them to the best of my recollection. After reading his account, and to the best of my recollection, I believe that I wanted to make clear to him that he was not authorized to represent the campaign with the Russian government or any other foreign government. Well, let's cross to Edis Tianchen in Washington, D.C. So Sessions saying that he pushed back on a proposal by Papadopoulos to arrange a private meeting between Trump and Putin. What do we make of this new revelation? Well, exactly. The question regarding Papadopoulos was one of the biggest questions of this hearing, of today's hearing. And it was really brought up early on in the hearing. Um, and uh, we, we know that Papadopoulos was a, a foreign policy advisor uh, to the Trump campaign uh, before he was uh, fired. And just as of last month, he, uh, was, he pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI. He later admitted that he told both Trump, the then presidential uh, candidate, as well as Jeff Sessions, the then uh, campaign official, he told both of them about the possibility of him using his contacts in Russia to help arrange a private meeting between Trump and the Russian President Vladimir Putin. Now, those allegations uh, previously, they were repeatedly denied by both the White House and Jeff Sessions himself. And now, this obviously looks really bad on him, because this is a major contradiction to his first testimony, where session said he did not have any Russian contacts and he didn't know of anyone else on the campaign, uh, on the Trump campaign, who might. Now, looking uh, today, we see him uh, quite openly talk about a proposal that was put forward by Pro uh, Papadopoulos, and he said he pushed back on this proposal. But we are really left with more questions than answers here, because uh, he says he doesn't recall any further details of that meeting. Obviously, the main question now uh, in this investigation will be trying to get to that what was exactly talked about in that meeting and if not Jeff Sessions if anybody else on the campaign who might have taken on that proposal okay aside from Russia then alleged contacts with Turkey were also brought up in the hearing what did Sessions have to say about that Well, Sessions was asked whether he was aware of any dealings between Flynn and the government of Turkey, uh, uh, allegedly a large sum of money offered by Turkey for the kidnap of a cleric, uh, uh, the, namely the head of the uh, FETÖ group, a group that is considered a terror organization by Turkey. Now, uh, Jeff Sessions said this is something he just heard on the news reports, uh, and he did not have any other details. He did not have any knowledge uh, of uh, regarding this allegation at all. But we have uh, had the Turkish uh, Prime Minister himself, Binali Yildirim, was here in Washington just a few days ago, and he was hosted by uh, a, an American network. And live on and on live TV, he denied all of these uh, allegations. And we also had a written statement uh, from the Turkish ambassador uh, embassy here in Washington, uh, saying that it is uh, unthinkable, uh, even the possibility of having the Turkish government uh, offer large sums of money okay. uh, for the kidnapping of any person here in the United States.